Hello everyone and welcome to our third uh, video to show on uh, Alekine. Actually, I don't remember if I ever mentioned it, but if not, well, that would be a great time that well, when I've seen his name, his full name, um, Alexander Alexandrovich Alekine. Well, first thing I was thinking is, okay, that's a new definition for AAA, right? AAA. So, well, if you're ever thinking about AAA, maybe you can think about Alekine. All right, I wasn't certain whether we'll discuss the matches, so we will do it quite quickly and a few uh, games from the 30s. I mean, Alekine was as dominant, I mean, the matches with Bugalubov, I mean, as dominant as one could be in the early, early 30s. I mean, when seeing the scores of him winning uh, some of the tournaments, I mean, they were just just incredible. I mean, uh, probably his best score ever is the San Remo tournament. 14 out of 15, 13 wins, 2 draws. I mean, just amazing. Uh, then uh, a year after it in Bled, uh, 15 wins and 11 draws, no losses. And those are... You know, best players were playing there, Bugalubov, Ninzovic, Flor, and so on. few other tournaments uh, after it followed with quite similar results, or, or at least uh, not far from that. Pretty much winning uh, every tournament he played from, I would say, uh, the early, uh, early 30s, late 20s, until the mid 30s, 35, 6 basically until some strong young players such as Flor, Botvinnik, I mean Oiva, which wasn't a really young player, but okay, was getting to his peak at that time. So I would say that maybe for five years he completely dominating the chess world, playing two matches against Bugolubov in 29 and 34. I, I said, I, I think the... Horrible thing is not giving, absolutely horrible from chess point of view, from any point of view, not giving Capablanca a rematch, but, well, some other people in chess history has done it. Okay, so I want to go quickly over a few games, uh, one or two games, uh, maybe a faster, another one, from the matches, and I will say this, despite the fact that the matches were very, very decisively in Alekine's uh, favor, um, for example, the 29 match, he won with 11 wins, 5 losses, and 9 draws. The 34 match, well, almost similar score. I mean, the other one was... 15 and a half out of 25, right? Uh, in, tw in 34, it was 8 wins, 3 losses, and 15 draws. 15 and a half out of 26. So almost identical scores. But I would say that Bugalubov games were worth more. I mean, I, I somehow feel the score wasn't fair with Bugalubov. And, okay, we will look at that quite quickly. But before that, let's look at... Um, their first game in the 29 World Championship. All right. So they played this version in the Slav. And, okay, Bishop F5 is very popular, but E6 is, okay, also, as we know, a move. E3, C5 is very common. And if E4, Bishop B4, E5, okay, this was, uh, many games were played by Alekine in, uh, this line, he played this against Oiva in 1935 in their first match. He played this against Bugalubov in the very famous tournament in Nottingham in 1936. Uh, he played it again in another game, so he liked this one. All right, knight d5. I mean, that's all the other games that I mentioned were with knight e4, but knight d5 supposed to be the right move. Bishop d2, 